Woods, and there is Anna Smreck. She had a phenomenal matchup against Nebraska back in 2021 in that national championship matchup. Named the most outstanding player of the tournament. We're underway here in Wisconsin. Just a freshman when she won that most outstanding player. Back to serve for Nebraska, Harper Murray. A little bit different start here for Nebraska in a different rotation as Harper Murray back at the service line. She's been terrific from that line as of late. Forces the overpass and Becca Alec. That's exactly how the last match Nebraska extended into a fifth. Nebraska felt like they had to serve tougher in this matchup to force those overpasses. Wisconsin passed over 60% in system during that first matchup. Nebraska wants to limit that as much as possible. Better pass there. Hamill goes outside, punched over by Franklin, not down. From off the net. Good up there by Gigi. Into the block, Barrett Beeson, as Franklin took an aggressive swing from off the net. Merritt Beeson is going to have to be big defensively up front against Sarah Franklin, one of, if not the best, outside in the entire country. Beeson's got to be locked in and taking away that line of approach just as she did there. Nebraska serving tough here on these first two points. Why Harper Murray has kept the Badgers out of system. Chases that one down, goes behind her one-on-one -on -one down the line. Rodriguez is there. Behind again to Spreck. Out of system, here is Beeson. Off the top of the block, not down. Too tight to the antenna, but wow, what a swing! Outside the antenna, she goes thumb down and puts it in the middle. Such a good save from Franklin up front. This ball outside, she somehow slices it back into the court. No Husker block up front. They thought she might have just been down balling this one. No one goes up. That's an easy kill for Franklin. Someone's got to be up on that. Well, that's what Franklin can do. She can bail you out. Carter Booth with the swing, not down. We'll go back to Smirk again. Bait horse from inside. Spreck swing, and that is wide point for Nebraska. For both the Huskers and Badgers, winning this game in transition is going to be so big. If they can get good defensive touches up at the net to run their good offense, that might be the key to who wins this game tonight. Outside, great angle. Was it down? No, it's just wide. And Nebraska on a 6-1 run to open this up. Wisconsin not finding rhythm in their offense. This ball for Sarah Franklin so close to the line, just slices it a little bit too far out. Better pass. Hamill back to Spreck. No doubter. There's Hannah. Wisconsin wants to get Anna Smart going as often as possible. That's a matchup that Wisconsin loves. She's 6'9", so she can go up and over the blockers in front of her. Even with Allie Batenhorst, who stands at 6'5", she can go up and over the top. There, she touches 11, too. That's incredible. Incredible. They certainly missed her. She was out for those three matches. They lost two of those. Dropping a match out on the road to Penn State, also on the road to Purdue. Tip by Beeson, timely tip for Merritt. A player that has such a high volleyball IQ, Merritt Beeson does a great job seeing the defense on the other side, seeing where they're set up, and just putting the ball right where they're not. That time, just an easy touch over the block. And now back to serve goes Merritt Beeson, the transfer from Florida in her first year in Lincoln. Tough serve. Line. Got it, what a shot out of system and an even better set. I don't think Sarah Franklin knew she was gonna get set on that ball. She didn't even start her approach until that ball was already set on the floor for this one. Goes out to her, she's not afraid to take a big swing to try to clean up some of that junk. Phenomenal bump set there to Franklin. Oh, it goes behind her on the slide, Andy Jackson is done. Here's first look at Deb swinging, and Deb Robinson from that right pin gets the kill.
Both Devin Robinson and Anna Smack on the right side for Wisconsin can be lethal when they get him going in system. Because of how fast this set is, it's really difficult for that middle to close. That allows seams in the block, and those right sides can go right into it. Horst pounds it off the block and gets the kill from her left pin. Beautiful set from the freshman setter, Berg and Riley. This ball looks like it's going back. At the last second, she switches her shoulders, sends this ball all the way up, resulting in a hole in the block for Batenhorst to hit through. That was impressed Carter Booth stayed with it. Yeah. She was actually at the pin in time. Batenhorst just managed to bounce it off her. In the middle, there is Carter Booth. One key for Wisconsin was getting the middles going as early as possible, establishing them as a threat. A player like Carter Booth has the ability to go up and over. Oftentimes in front on the quick set, she's one on one. She oftentimes wins that matchup. It's 445. That leads the conference. Riley with the bump set outside Harper Murray. It's going to be an overpass. Jackson slams it down. It goes off of the dig and out. Point for the Huskers. Nebraska's so disciplined on these overpasses. They know exactly where that ball is going. Then they make the decision whether to go up and take a swing at it or just an easy block and push down. Kennedy Orr, now to serve. Tough one, good pass by Franklin. Hustle by Choboy sends it out to Murray into the pin. Well, that's a difficult ball for Harper Murray to hit on the outside. It's coming from way past the court. She can't see the blockers in front of her. She's taking a blind swing at this, trying to track this ball in time. She can't see the block in front of her. She's just going up and trying to take a swing, but there's a lot of time for her to decide how to hit it, where to hit it. It's a difficult ball to put over. MJ Hamill back in to serve. Wisconsin running that 6-2 with Ashburn and Hamill. It'll be Hamill setting now to the back row. Timmy Thomas on Laura. Her first swing. She gets the nope. Looked like there was a touch there. We might have our first challenge here from Kelly Sheffield. Bergen Riley will serve for Nebraska. Good pass by Oshel. Out to Timmy Thomas Iowar, not down. Beeson off the top of the block. Great up. Fantastic hustle on both sides, and the swing is maybe six inches long. That Husker block just so pressing over Wisconsin. They have to do a better job of coverage. They got a good up, then these outsides have to find a way to get that ball in the court. In the middle. Second touch goes over and out. This is why Wisconsin wants to get Anna Smrat going as much as possible. Whether she's running through the middle as she does in that rotation on the gap, or on the right side. That ball is so fast to hit her hands. And with the height that she's hitting it at, it's difficult for any defense to pick up. And the ace. Guljay Guchkin with the ace for the Badgers. Beautiful serve from Guchkin back on the end lane. That was something Wisconsin didn't do during their last matchup. They had no ball, so she went high hands. That ball's probably going to go out of bounds. Smart shot. Carter Booth. She can pass, she can attack. Carter Booth can literally do it all. That's what you want as a middle. Ball control, that perfect pass allows her to get set in this rotation. She knows that ball is coming right back to her if she gives her setters that good of a pass. Interesting when you compare how the middles did the first time these two teams squared off. Neither, neither, neither of the middle, all four of them had a great match, as you see Batenhorst off the top of the block with the kill for Nebraska, but both teams have 
maybe made it a point to run the middles more over the last four or five matches because neither did it really well in the last match between these two. Oh, it's been a focal point for both sides to get those middles more involved because they know they can high it, score at such a high clip. But Franklin. And Franklin takes out the trash. Wow! Franklin hits shots that makes your jaw absolutely drop. In these tough plays, maybe this falls off the net, a little bit outside of her body. She finds a way to still get on top of it and clean it up. Good block touch by the Badgers. Nebraska returns it. Kicked over, Point Huskers <laughs> nearly got it over on the foot volley. I just when you think that ball is down, that's why you got to play through the whistle. Both of these teams so scrappy. Good step in from Batenhorst helping out on that middle attack. So close to coming over. Yeah, that would have been an all-timer. <laughs> Reaction time for her to be able to get her foot up like that. That's right. Timmy Thomas Ilara with a kill. Oh no. Falls on Wisconsin's side. Rolled around the tape. Three of the sets. You can get blown out <laughs> the other two. Right. It doesn't even matter. You just have to win by two. That's exactly what Nebraska did. Two of those sets, only one by two points. That's a great point. Out of the timeout. The serving error by Nebraska. Ojal. Tip. Tip by Murray. And Ojal diving, trying to keep it alive in front of him. Sarah Franklin. Bit of a miscommunication on Wisconsin side. Ojo trying to come in and take that ball. Franklin not hearing that cue. That's why it's so important in the backcourt to be as loud as you can and call your other teammates off so you can make that play. Back to serve for Nebraska is Kennedy Orr. Came to the campus in Lincoln as a setter, one of the top setters in the country. What a fantastic teammate has transitioned into a serve specialist. From that right pin, there's Deb Robinson again. Robinson going OTT over the top of the block right in front of her. She has such a high reach. She's explosive and dynamic. She could go up and over that block in front of her. A beautiful set allows her to do that. OTT is better than OUT. Always. Yeah. <laughs> MJ Hamill back in to serve. Again, right over the block. Nothing Choboy can do about that. The right side is working for Wisconsin. Whether it's Smack or, Ro Smack or Robinson over there, they're finding them as often as they can. Both right sides hitting impressive angles. Off the tape. Alec kept it up. Left-handed pushed over. Out of system swing coming up from Spreck off the block. Now the pick by Beeson and she just tapped it over. Such a smart transition play for Beeson. She gets that dig right up at the setter. She identifies three blockers in front of her. That means there's so much space anywhere right behind the block for the tip because that back row has so much space to cover. Finger touch by Alec. Here is Harper Murray. Murray with the touch and the kill. Big play for Harper Murray and an even bigger defensive play. Alec getting a touch to slow that down allows Lexi Rodriguez a good play in transition. Murray just cleans it up going for high hands. That's what you have to do against the wall of a block mm. in front of you. Swing high and hard. Crowd getting into it here at the field house in the service error. Right now, both teams siding out impressive numbers. Badgers at 65, 66% now. Nebraska, 
Good pass. In system. Into the net, called on Nebraska. Nebraska called in the net, but Lanny Choboy with the pickup in the backcourt. Just that come down right as they're coming down from the block. Yep. Turns around, just catches a little piece of it. in the middle. Huge read from Caroline Crawford, taking away that line of approach, Rebecca Alec, for the so low stuff. She adjusted her block right at the last second, getting in front of Alec so she knew where that ball exactly was going to put it down. Badgers with a 3-0 run to even it at 18. And then Alec right back with the kill. Smart decision for Nebraska to spread out this offense just a little bit more. When they run Alec in the gap, puts a lot of stress on the right side blocker to decide whether they're staying with the outside or helping out with the middle. Harper Murray with the serve. Franklin off the top of the block and gets the kill. Tara Franklin, five kills. She's hitting 250. Late in sets when Wisconsin wants a point, this is the player they're going to go to. Whether Franklin's in the front or the back court, both setters will find her all the time, and she's able to find the floor. Tough one. Back and forth at the net. Franklin off the top of the block. Back row, the big Murray got it. Murray coming out of the backcourt. This is a player that they'll find in the front or the back as well. Yeah, I was wondering if we were going to get a challenge here, and Sheffield quickly goes up to talk to our R2. I thought that Nebraska was in the net. You see just how important these challenges yeah. are early on. Back row attack was called. Point for the Badgers. Kind of a double fault moment for Nebraska yeah. as well. Yeah. Riley called. Legal back row attack. Setter goes up, takes that over. A little bit of gamesmanship going on right here. I'm just going to tell you. John Cook was upset how much time Kelly Sheffield was taking talking to the official before showing the green card. John Cook's taking a little yeah. extra time here. There's definitely some gamesmanship going on here in this battle of the two best of the Big Ten. It's fun. Exactly what we want. Ace backline. Big point for the Badgers. Up by two, late in set one. And timeout, Nebraska. And rubbing it. The Huskers are here in Madison. They travel to take on the Golden Gophers. There are the Aces. They had none back on the 21st already to that last one coming from Crawford. And another 3-0 Badger run. Go tight to the net. All Merrick could do is punch that over. Net violation called in Nebraska. Error starting to pile up for Nebraska. First, it's a miscommunication error that leads to that ace. We go to timeout and right away, undisciplined block just catches the net on the way down. Badgers three away from taking the first. Another tough serve by CeCe. They run the middle. Beeson goes long, did not get a touch. Point Badgers. 
And there's going to be a challenge. This ball initially ruled out of bounds. Nebraska thought there might have been a touch on that. From that angle, a little bit difficult to tell. Didn't see much. Zoom it in a little bit. Yeah. Looks like that left hand of Booth, maybe that finger bending back. Yep. See the index finger and the middle finger kind of sliding. Oh, yeah. Sliding. Yep. From this angle, definitely looks like Booth, that left hand, yep. maybe a finger bending back. Here's the call. So it is overturned. Point Nebraska. So instead of 23-19, it's 22-20. Wisconsin still just three away. Rodriguez to serve. Sent back over, what and up. Great job by Bergen Riley. Sprint finishes. And right now it's the Badgers getting to all the balls. Defense so important in this match, being able to transition them. And when they get this free ball, they know exactly who they're going to. That is Anna Smrek almost every single time. They trust her ability to put down the ball in these situations. Quick, good dig by Ojal. Franklin got the kill. This time it's Franklin in the big moment, able to put that ball down. Both these setters trust Sarah Franklin so, so much. There are the last three matches in which Smrek did not play. She played against Indiana. She didn't play against... Penn State and Purdue. That was one of the big reasons why they might have lost some of those matches. You know, you yeah. see a 16-14 fifth set loss against Purdue. Anna Smack could be the difference there. Yeah. Tonight, five kills hitting 400. She's hitting 400 during conference play. These are numbers that she puts up every night. That's how important she is to this Wisconsin team. Nebraska had an 18-15 lead in this. So first set point into the net. Second set point for the Badgers upcoming. Watch for a lot of back row attacks on Nebraska side with Beeson and Murray back there. Just over the tape. Here's Franklin. Batenhorst got the kill between the block. Allie Batenhorst stepping up big for this Nebraska team. In a two-hitter rotation, she's probably going to get a lot of sets when they're out of system. Bergen Riley on the run. She knows this ball. Disposal just gets rid of the junk. Set point number three for the Badgers. Another tough serve by Beeson. Rock comes back. Opportunity here to reset. Easy. Got it on the line. And who else closes it out but Sarah Franklin? She is on the road in Lincoln at the Demandy Center. The Badgers struggled to finish in a couple of sets, including set five. There in that first set, they went on the 10-4 run and absolutely closed it out. Franklin got the kill. She has nine kills already. Franklin putting the team on her back. This is a team, as you mentioned, that is finding ways to close. We saw them have match point against Nebraska earlier this year in that fourth set. We saw it against Purdue late in that fifth set, yep. though Purdue ended up running off three to take that lead and win the match. This is a Wisconsin team that struggled to close at times. That wasn't the case in set one. Uh-uh. Mary Beeson. Off the top of the hands and falls in the middle, 1-1. One, one. 
Sarah Franklin's numbers right now are just ridiculous. She's hitting 412, nine kills, and we've seen her take some out of system swings. How about the one that was outside the antenna and she found a way to thumb down it and get the kill? So impressive, and that's what she does as an outside, just a crafty shooter. Back row. Off the block goes Murray. And again. Other way, Smrek off the top. Great diving save by Murray. Baithorst, not down. Terrific defense by the Badgers. One handed up. MJ Hamill kept it alive. And the kill. And how about the defense in the field house? Both sides, Harper Murray laying out for one like another libero in the backcourt. Then it's Julia Orgel, Wisconsin's libero. Multiple one-handed ups in just that rally alone. That's what makes these teams so good. Yeah, they have the off offensive pieces to put balls down, but man, defensively, nothing hits the floor. Just so hard to find a weakness on either side of the net for either team. They play defense, they got outstanding pin hitters, they can run the middle. Fantastic setters. Usually you can find a weakness in a team where you try to attack and figure you're gonna get some points. Both of these teams just so good all around. Ted Robinson right down the line. This is Robinson's bread and butter shot. Down the line, this is where she's most powerful. If the block gives her this big of a space to sneak this ball through, she'll find a way to do it. And against even the best libero in the entire country, that's a difficult ball to get a touch on. This place is loud. Yeah, I can't hear anything, to be honest. <laughs> it's so loud. 3-2 Badgers. Great look at the UW Fieldhouse here in Madison, Wisconsin. Home to the 2021 National Champions. Booth off the top of the block. Batenhorst beat the block. Great shot by Batenhorst. Amazing shot by Allie Batenhorst. She helps on that block earlier, works so hard to get back in transition. There is such a small space for this ball to go through, and she manages just to sneak it right in. On the slide, Robinson. Again, Allie Batenhorst, that's back to back right between the block for Batenhorst. The court vision from Batenhorst up front to sneak it right between two incredible blockers. There is not much of a space here to hit through. Look at how small this is. She manages a way to just sneak it right inside. We talked about it last match. This is one of the things that Jordan Larson has been working with Batenhorst on is her ability to see before she attacks. Don't be predetermined. That certainly was nice. Dev Robinson destroys it. That's what makes a good attacker, specifically really a pin attacker, is ability to see the block in front, and that's what you train all the time, whether it's mats or hands, seeing where the hole is in the block and just finishing that hand right through because that's the shot that'll probably lead to a kill more often. That ended a 3-0 Nebraska run. We're even at four. Merritt Beeson not down. And Allie Batenhorst puts it away, and for Batenhorst, that is kill number six equals the number that Beeson has. Allie Batenhorst really stepping up as this season has gone on, not just from an offensive standpoint. Passing as well has been a staple for that team to be able to plug and play after Lindsey Krause went down earlier this season. Krause on the bench, but not suited up. She has been practicing with the team lately. Not fully, but on the side, trying hard to get back. They're hoping maybe through the NCAA tournament. Over pass. Peyton Horst again got the kill. Good body control from Peyton Horst to go up because this ball pretty tight on the net. Now two in a row going up, just providing that good stability, good discipline up front to put the ball down very easily. 
Seven now for Batenhorst. Jimmy Thomas Ayala does not clear the tape. Thomas Ilara a little bit struggling to find some of that offensive efficiency, hitting nearly negative 600 in this game. She's got to pick it up as that outside whose responsibility it is to pick up a lot of junk. She had 11 kills last time out against Nebraska. Huskers on another 3-0 run, their second 3-0 run here in the second set. Better pass there by Franklin in system. That time, Ilara, Timmy Thomas Ilara gets the kill. Thomas Eilara with a much better shot, seeing the block that was in front of her. She didn't take a big rip at it, just going right at those hands to fall inside of Bergen Riley, the setter. Much smarter decision as an outside. Really liked the decision by Izzy to go back to her right away after the error. I tried to boost up that confidence yeah. a little bit more, give him another chance. Ace! That's a couple Nebraska has watched fall, and they are painting some corners here in Madison. It can be difficult to track how far that ball is going with how much space is behind the court. It changes the depth perception just a little bit more. On the slide, Jackson is shut down. Cece stares across the net, wow. Massive wall from Caroline Crawford and Tammy thomas Ilara. This is what Crawford does best, affect the game defensively. She reads so well and is able to get inside so many of the... Nebraska, let's take a look at the last block by Cece. It's a huge stare down after this one. This is what she does so well. She moves side to side and can go pin to pin and <laughs> shut down anyone. And then a little bit of sass on the other yeah. side of the net. That's what you get in these big rivalry uh. games. You're a little bit more juiced up after some of these plays. So they answer Nebraska's 3-0 run with a 3-0 run of their own. Andy Jackson right now, who has just been terrific for Nebraska. She's second in the conference in hitting percentage. And right now, she's hitting zero. One kill, one error four swings. Back row, Beeson, right at Ojal, good dig. Great one handed up. Here's Batenhorst, off the side of the block. Now this is an alley Batenhorst. Nebraska fans love to see, trying to get her going, and that is now Eight kills for Batenhorst hitting 467. Batenhorst doing an incredible job finding the openings on Wisconsin's side and having the confidence to just swing big. Lainey Choboy now to serve. In the middle. Crawford not down, back row. Robinson was right there on the touch. From off the net, Robinson. Murray off the block gets the kill. Harper Murray's been quiet. That's just her second kill. Make it third kill for Murray. This is what Murray does, though. She steps up in these big moments. When Nebraska needs a point, they can rely on her to get one. Well, you talked about it in the fifth set, the first time they met. Seven of Nebraska's kills came from Harper Murray on no hitting errors. She was stellar. Absolutely electric in that fifth <laughs> set. Seven for nine, no errors at nearly 800. She loves those big moments. Murray with the cover. Beeson off the block. Beeson got the kill out of the big. It's huge for Nebraska to have Beeson as an attacker out of the back row because in these two hitter rotations, when Murray was on the ground, Beeson's the only person on the court that can get this next swing. So if they don't have her back there, they don't have another outlet if that outside does go down. No touch, and that's long point for the Badgers. Jackson on her way down, hitting that ball. Normally so efficient on this slide attack. The timing just a little bit off between Riley and Jackson. MJ Hamill to serve.
Swing goes wide. No touch. Point Nebraska. Spreck just missed it. This is what a disciplined block provides for Nebraska. When they're taking away those seam shots and the shots that Smrek wants to hit, it forces her to try to go up and over them. If Smrek doesn't get that snap down, the ball's going out. way up to put that away. That was probably 11-2. Yeah, you don't want to go up on a joust <laughs> against Anna Smrek because this is when her physicality and height just overpowers pretty much anyone in the country. She's able to just go up and over everyone pretty easily. You got to keep that ball off against her. You see Smrek's numbers, seven kills hitting 312. She got on top of that one, wow. Huge swing from Harper Murray. This is what makes her so good. She's explosive and powerful on the outside. Even against two of the better blockers in the conference, if she can go inside the hands or in the seam, she's so explosive and makes it happen to put it down. And a little yell across the net from Sprek after the kill. Both sides getting just juiced up yeah, right now. Yeah. I like the sass from Wisconsin that we're seeing. It makes it more fun for them and get just a little bit more hype. And a Sprek, a little bit of a stare down after that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I think they feel like there's a score to settle here, yeah. right? It's a big revenge match for them. Off the block, but long and point for Nebraska. Peyton Horse now checking back in for the Huskers. Back to serve for Nebraska. Harper Murray. Sarah Franklin. She's in double digits. Franklin's hammering that cross court shot. So many of her kills have come from that. Nebraska's blocking the line, taking that away. They might want to make an adjustment and move the block a little bit more inside to take away this power shot that Franklin keeps hammering. Alex swing is wide, mistimed. With Bergen Riley, point for the Badgers. A few more misconnects than we've seen from Nebraska as of recently. Some of these sets, just location wise, a little bit off for all the hitters. Nebraska out hitting Wisconsin both in this set and the match, but the Badgers out hit Nebraska on that win in Lincoln. And there is Becca Alec. Better adjustment for Malik on this ball. Still not exactly in the window where she felt like she could take a big swing. So what she did was throw in that power tip going right off of the blocker's hands. It's a better second set for Bergen Riley as well. I thought maybe some of her sets a little off in set number one. She's been more on target here. Bump set from Franklin to Dev Robinson. Back row, Harper Murray. <laughs> Hello. That's a freshman coming out of the back row with an arm like that. So impressive, you almost think she might be a fifth year with how confident she is coming into some of these swings. So impressive, her ability to chase this ball down and absolutely unload on it. What a swing by Murray. <laughs> Set out to Beeson. But she tried to go away and just did not get on top. Went well wide. At that time, a pretty good set for Beeson, just not able to get on top of it and snap it down. That is the first hitting error on Beeson in the match. She has seven kills. That's her first error. 17 swings, hitting 353.
A little pause here in the action as our R2 is chatting with the scorer's table. Now we're ready to go. Nearly another ace. Does it get over? It does. Robinson off the block and a kill. A good chase down on Nebraska's side. Lexi Rodriguez chases this one down, sends it over. Wisconsin gets that free ball. These are the practice things you practice all yeah. the time. Being able to transition out of that free ball. That's what you want to do with the free ball right there. Back to within one. And right now the Badgers passing is causing all kinds of trouble. Even on that kill by Batenhorst, Nebraska out of system. And normally a Nebraska team that is in system at one of the highest clips in the right. entire country. What these outsides, though, are doing really well is they're able to clean up the junk. A player like Ali Batenhorst, now nine kills wow. in this match. She's cleaning up a lot of that junk when they are out of system. Batenhorst, one of those players who has been known to go off on occasion. Having one of those go off games right now. A good chase down by Izzy. Tries to bump, set it, sent over on the left hand. Thomas Lara with the kill. Huge adjustment from Temi Thomas Lara. This ball coming from the other side of the court. Uses that left hand, her non dominant hand, to just track this ball and throw that over. How about Izzy chasing that down? He's getting it close to the pin for a kill. On the slide, there is Andy Jackson. Much better take from Nebraska. Lexi Rodriguez stepping in to take this pass. One of the best passers in the entire country. She is almost always on target. That allows that slide to run. The connection between Riley and Jackson looking a lot better this time. There's Thomas Eller now warming up. Thomas Elara had to pick up her game during set two. She was hitting nearly negative 500 up wow. until that point. She's clawing herself out of a hole. And not in easy situations. When she knows there's two blockers in front of her, she's still managing to get a swing and find the floor. Served by Hamill. And an ace for Hamill. Four aces for the Badgers. Overpass, a little joust. Wisconsin again playing from behind, managing to come back here in the second set. It's been those 50-50 balls up at the net that they're taking control of. Very similar to set one. Nebraska led most of the way, and as they creep toward the end, here come the Badgers. <laughs> Wide point, Wisconsin. And John Cook will take a timeout. It's a loud one here. Badgers have come from behind once again to take a two-point lead. 4-0 scoring run for the Badgers. That's all started at the service line with MJ Hamill back there, knocking Nebraska out of system, forcing them in difficult situations. The hitter is not able to clean it up. You mentioned it, four aces for Wisconsin, none for Nebraska, and the number of times that the serving has taken Nebraska out of system has been at least double that. Outside, Harper Murray beat the block of Smrek and Crawford. Huge time for Nebraska right out of that timeout to nail the pass. 
that holds that middle just a little bit longer, allowing Murray to have a seam to rip it right through. Tough serve by Choboy. Harper Murray. Chance to reset. Murray again. Big moments. This is when Harper Murray elevates her game. Within that rally alone as an outside, you're forced to take multiple swings. They get the recycled play. Hard, hard work to get back to manage that swing and find it right inside the court. A little bit of a run here for Nebraska. All of yeah. a sudden, Nebraska finds themselves back on top after that 4-0 Wisconsin run. Now, they go on the 3-0 run of the here. Such a difficult thing to do in one of, if not the best conference oh. in college volleyball, especially now with as much parity as we see, not just in the conference, but around the country. It's difficult for anyone to do. Pulls it out of the net. Murray off the block, some power there. Pounds it off Sprex hand. Harper Murray been so big at the end of this second yeah. set. Bergen Riley knows that Murray is the hot hand. In these big moments, she's going to continue to feed her the ball. Becca, Alec with the block, and then head and then butted Mara Beeson right in the nose. Really taking her teammate out <laughs> on that one. Huge read from Becca Alec to dive right inside. Murray taking away yeah. that. Crowd trying to get into it here at the field house. Badgers down by three late. Maisie Boziger to serve for Nebraska. Point for the Badgers as Alec was over the top. Alec a little bit too aggressive on that play. The ball not over the plane of the net, so she's not allowed to go up and touch that ball. If any part of that ball breaks the plane, she's allowed to go up on it, but clearly that ball was on Wisconsin side. Good chicken with the serve, tough one. Bump set, Murray. Blocked! Little tight, but Smrek and Crawford put it down. Against blockers like Smrek and Caroline Crawford, you gotta keep this ball a little bit off the net. Any trap set is gonna come right back at you harder than you hit it. And this ball just right into the hands of Anna Smrek. Not much that Murray could have done with that one. Better pass. Back throw. Great dig. Ozil with the up. Right back. Into the net, called in Nebraska. We're even at 22. That was a big difference in the first set. Nebraska in the net at least two times in that set alone. They've got to be more disciplined on some of these blocks. 3-0 run on Gucci Tech and serve. Sprek again. Got it. Something about playing from behind. Wisconsin wants to keep everyone on their toes. Anna Smrek coming up big in these big moments. 4-0 scoring run for the Badgers. 23-22. Better pass. Right down the line of the kill by Harper Murray. Evens it at 23. 
One of the most impressive kills that we've seen all night long. Harper Murray with a massive block in front of her, sneaks one, not looking at that line, right down the sideline wow. and plays it perfectly. Just caught the line. 23s. Showboy. Franklin with the kill. Set point for the Badgers to go up 2 0 against the number one ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. Wiped it off the block, wants a touch, and got it. Great job by our, our officiating crew to look back and check, and finally saw the swipe right there off the fingers. Yeah, just a little bit of a pinky touch from Sarah Franklin. Beautifully played shot from Harper Murray. Extra points here in the second. We're at 24s. Harper Murray serving for Nebraska. Ace, Harper Murray. And now Nebraska with a set point here in the second. Freshman coming up clutch again, just like she did in the last matchup between these two, rising her level of play. 11 kills for Harper Murray. Nebraska's first ace, and now set point. Found the deep corner on a great shot by Smrek. Smrek rising that level of play. And Orgel, perfect pass. They're allowed to run Anna Smrek in these situations in system. That ball inside, she goes up over inside the blockers. Izzy Ashburn back to serve. Tough serve from Ashburn. They ran the tandem. Alec goes up first. Batenhorst polishes it off. Beautiful set at a great time. An overload. You have the middle going right next to the outside. Confuses the blockers on the other side. Set point here in the second. The second for Nebraska. No problem, says Sarah Franklin. And this is an all-out wow. love fest. Every hitter going up, taking high, confident swings. They're finding the floor in such difficult situations. But these hitters, they're so confident every time they go up. That allows them to make plays like that. Spreck serve there. Big horse yeah. swipes it off the block. Nebraska keeps it alive. Beeson rolls it over. Opportunity here, out of system again. Beeson from that right pin is long. No touch. Point Badgers. And now upcoming in the second is the second set point for Wisconsin. The Badger crowd will let you know how this goes. Field, 11th season in Madison. His team 24 and 3, 15 and 3 in the conference. Harper Murray starts out set number three, off the block and a kill. And if you're Nebraska, you think back to being on the road at Penn State. The Nittany Lions took the first two. You found a way to win the third and fourth. And there it is. You come back in reverse sweep.
she is so good at that shot. Second time we've seen her outside the pin, thumb down, that angle is ridiculous. Every time, this is what Sarah Franklin does when that ball's outside. She slices that right thumb down. That allows her to hit this cross-court shot anytime it's outside the pin. That Nebraska off blocker has to come inside and pick that up. Block back. Harper Murray off the top of the block. Got the hands of Franklin. Both of Nebraska's outsides, both Harper Murray and Allie Batenhorst, hitting over 450 yeah, tonight, yeah. doing an incredible job finding the floor against two very good right side blockers with Anna Smrek and Devin Robinson. Nebraska just has to find a way to get a few more players involved in the offense, especially their middles. Franklin again had Merritt Beeson in front of her off the side of the hands of Beeson and got the kill. Such great court vision from Sarah Franklin, seeing the block in front of her that the middle wasn't there. She has a lot open right into that seam to hit through. It's going to be hard to say that Sarah Franklin is not the player of the year in the Big Ten Conference. She's certainly one of the oh. best and really all around game as well. And you see on the other side with Merritt Beeson, another person who thinks that she might be the best player in the conference as well. well Merritt Beeson answers with the kill there off the block. I think when you look at Franklin's numbers, she's hitting, you know, 306 for as many balls as she takes out of system and what she's done in the conference. It's just. And hitting 330 in just uh, conference play alone as an outside who gets right. so much junk in such a majority yeah. of Wisconsin sets. Well, that makes those numbers even more impressive as Carter Booth puts that one down. Great kill by Booth. One of the both few sides, times. Both sides starting to get their middles involved just a little bit more. Izzy Ashburn did a phenomenal job about eight feet off the net, establishing the middles as a threat early on. Carter Booth with four kills. Batenhorst, just inside that block, tools the hands of Booth. Batenhorst has done a phenomenal job seeing where that middle blocker is at and whether there's a seam in the block or if they're reaching back into the scene, opening up the cross court shot and hitting it right what she sees. Tough serve. Not too tough for Timmy Thomas Ilara, who got pulled inside, but put it away. Thomas Ilara now hitting zero on the match, but after that first set hitting nearly negative 500, she's clawed her way out of a hole, starting to find a little bit more rhythm with her setters. Badgers hitting 312 in the match. Wide on the swing by Batenhorst. How good has Ojal been? Back to the service line now. <laughs> really good? So <laughs> impressive. And yeah. for a player that played her first two seasons as an outside attacker, yeah. moved to Libero this year as Nebraska puts that ball down, she has been so impressive. And, and what I like most about her is in the backcourt, because she stands at six foot, she's able to touch so many balls that not a lot of Liberos can because of that length and reach she has. Also along with her great timing and just ability to explode to a ball. It's also one of the reasons that the Badgers struggled when Smrek was out because they shift the lineup. She moves out of the libero as the ace comes from Nebraska. But she does such a good job in that back row. You can see why Kelly Sheffield likes her back row. Not a lot of coaches will be very confident when you're moving your libero right. to the outside. But Kelly Sheffield yeah. has so much confidence when they have to move her there. Those matches where she was on the outside, she put up pretty good numbers. Mm. Another tough serve by Choboy. Timmy Thomas Ilara coming alive. She goes off the hands of Bergen Riley. Where Thomas Ilara has found success as the match has gone on is with that high hand shot, going for the right side blockers, fingertips in front of her, doing a great job seeing them and targeting those fingertips. Beautiful swing, just finding those hands.
MJ Hamill back to serve. Point, Wisconsin. This is what a disciplined block does up front. When you have Crawford and Sprint going up low and over, it forces outsides to hit high, hit shots they don't want to hit. Murray sailing that one out of bounds. the hands of the kill by Murray. They got a system play for Nebraska, managing to get that ball up. Lexi Rodriguez stepping in with a beautiful out of system set to her outside, high and tight, about three feet off and three feet in. Harper Murray was able to go up and attack that. Bosiger now in for Nebraska to serve. Thomas Ayalara with another kill. Thomas Ayalara is one of those players where when she gets a little bit of momentum, it carries on throughout the match. When she's able to claw herself her way out of a hole, she has so much confidence whenever she goes up to take a swing in that ball. The setters identified that and are feeding her. Top of the block, and there's Sprek again with a kill. She's got 13. Smrek hitting high and confident at the block in front of her. This is a matchup Wisconsin likes. With Harper Murray up front, it's a much shorter block than Batenhorst, so Wisconsin's going to feed Smrek a lot more. Serve is long. Bernard Riley now back to serve here in the third, 9-8. Badgers with the lead, trying to close out a sweep at home against Nebraska. They have been just that much better at the end of set one and set two. Sprack again over the top of the block, down the line. Wisconsin's going to feed Anna Smrek as often as they can, in system or out of system. With Murray up front, she's able to go up and over it. It's an easy point for Anna Smrek, who stands at 6'9", touches 11 too. Yeah. <laughs> Great set, good tempo. Franklin got to it before the block could. Beautiful tempo from the setter, finding Sarah Franklin on a much quicker ball, not allowing Becca Alec to close this one up. Massive hole for Sarah Franklin to rip it to. Oh, what a shot by Beeson. Pulled it behind her, sent it off the block and got the kill. Such a veteran swing. Very difficult ball to make a play off of. It's all the way pushed out to the line. Just an easy no-looky cookie wow. right down the sideline. <laughs> Solo. Carter Booth. Carter Booth, an absolute wall up front, identifying where that back row attacker wants to take this ball, making the slight adjustment to step into the line of approach and then gets those hands over to form a wall for the stuff. Franklin out of system, off the net, finds a way. Yeah. 
Beeson out of the break. Good swing and a kill by Merritt Beeson. Nebraska's done a really good job out of timeouts, nailing the pass right away and finding that first ball side out. The hitters are stepping up knowing that is their chance. They have to come out with some fire. Franklin and Smrek have done much of the damage for the Badgers. Nebraska's scoring has come from Murray, Batenhorst, and Beeson. Beeson is long, no touch. Well behind her. Nebraska's making it a point to swing really high on some of these out of system balls, knowing that the big block is going to be there. But a lot of times those fingertips aren't there because yeah. of how disciplined Wisconsin has been, which is forcing Nebraska to make a lot of hitting errors out of bounds. Mary Beeson again. From the right side, Beeson picks up her 11th kill. That equals the number of Peyton Horst. Harper Murray still leads the way with 14. And now back to serve is Merritt Beeson. You know, something else we haven't seen is we haven't seen Wisconsin in the net tonight. That was the number one thing Kelly Sheffield said before this game. I said, what do you want to see from your team that you didn't see? He said, I want us to stay out of the net. It wasn't just the match point. It was a few other times in advance of that way they were in the net a few times that led to kind of that focus for the Badgers. Yeah, a lot of that is just discipline blocking, especially in these massive rivalry games that are so hyped up. You yeah. want to get a little bit aggressive up front, but they've been so disciplined tonight staying out of the net. Was there a touch? Point Nebraska, no touch. Harper Murray looked like she wanted to take a yeah. swing on Tried that ball. To, yeah. Ojean with the service there, and now back to serve for Nebraska is Laney Chilborn. Tough one for Chilborn. Pulled it out of the net, the tip. What a tip by Cece. Such a high IQ play by Crawford, identifying one blocker up. This ball doesn't go either side because you know the off blockers are going to be there. So right behind the block is the smarter shot, just right into the middle of the court where there is no defender in sight. First kill of the match for Crawford. She's been big at the net, couple of blocks. Ace! Five aces now for the Badgers. And a five point lead at 17 12 here in the third. Tough pass. Off the block leads to the point by Spreck. And right now, the Badgers serving, and it has been this way throughout the match. Really tough for Nebraska to handle. Wisconsin is making it so difficult for Nebraska to stay in system. And for a team that is in system at some of the highest clips in the country, that is no small feat for Wisconsin, who is putting bullets in from the end line. All right, that might have been the funniest shot I've seen all night. Did you see the hood go over the head? I thought, I thought maybe. You go back to the eight days and have maybe a paper sack or something like that. Rolled over, what a shot! And right now the Badgers running away with set number three. 98, that was on the road against the Nittany Lions. Huskers lead the nation in opponent hitting percentage at 134, but this outside battery of the Badgers has been fantastic. And Timmy Thomas Ayalara just continues the run for Wisconsin. Thomas Ilara has stepped up massively for this team. When she's up front, she knows she's going to get a lot of jump balls that she has to manage better. She didn't do it in set one, but she's done it here in set two and set three. Maggie Mendelson into the match for the first time now for Nebraska. Mendelson, the sophomore out of Ogden, Utah. Ojal with the bump set. Timmy Thomas Ilara again. She delivers. Thomas Ilara stepping up so massively for this team. It's so difficult when you're in a hole like that to climb out of it. She has done it beautifully, and she looks as confident as we've seen her. 
It is a 6-0 Badger run. On the slide, Mendelssohn got the kill. How about the confidence that Bergen Riley has to set Mendelssohn on that play? Yeah. She immediately checks into the game. Sometimes players do not get set when they check in late in a set. Maybe you don't think they're warm. Yeah. Mendelssohn, beautiful swing. 21-13 here in the third. Bosiger back to serve for the Huskers. Good pass, run the middle, Smrek in this rotation in the middle for the Badgers. And swing long, no touch. Point, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's block just so big, forcing Nebraska to hit some of these balls out because they're low discipline. They're a big wall up front. Badgers right now, Emily, they are hitting on all cylinders. They're serving well, passing well. Outsides are terminating. Out of system, they're getting kills. This is an impressive performance. It's one of the most complete performances that we've seen from Wisconsin this entire season. As Nebraska's Bergen Riley puts that one down, this is what Wisconsin needed to do coming into this game. Yeah. They are fighting for their hosting lives right now, trying to get one of four top seeds. They needed to turn the selection committee's head tonight. What they've done is they've shown them they can not only hang with the best teams yeah. in the country, they can potentially beat them. Yeah, I believe this win here, if it holds and Wisconsin can hang on, secures the Badgers' top seed. Nebraska likely has that already locked up given their body of work as that swing is long from Anna Smrek. Yeah, despite what happens tonight for Nebraska, they are holding on to that yeah. one seed. Yeah. Undefeated, all the teams under them have at least three losses on the season. Yeah. So even if they lost tonight against Wisconsin, say they even lost tomorrow night against Minnesota, which is unlikely for this team, yeah. but they still would probably hold on to that number one overall spot. Push back, Smrek punches it over. Harper Murray, blocked! Smrek and Crawford, double up. That'll send Crawford back to the service line, and Nebraska's had trouble with her all night long. Rolled into the middle. Good opportunity. All kinds of options. It's spread. Into the block. Outside, Franklin. Got it. 17 kills for Sarah Franklin. Match point to end Nebraska's unbeaten season. Coming up for Wisconsin. Second match point upcoming.